ஸ்ரீ குருபிய நமக சொல்கிறேன் வெல்கம் டு அவர் ஆன்லைன் கிளாஸ் ஏ கலைவா டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி கிளாஸ் ஃபோர் சப்ஜெக்ட் இஸ் சயின்ஸ் த டாபிக் நேம் இஸ் அனிமல்ஸ் ஹவு லைஃப் கோஸ் ஆம் தட்ஸ் மீன் ரீப்ரொடக்ஷன் ஆஃப் அனிமல்ஸ் இட் சி லிவிங் திங்ஸ் டூ நாட் லிவ் ஃபார் எவர் வி நோ வெரி வெல் நோ Uh, if you think means we can say are divided into two one is the non living thing another one is the living thing what is non living thing non living thing means it has no life it has no life mean that is non living thing a thing it has life means that is living thing life mean what is the life life means that thing can breathe they can take the food they need to water they can reproduce this is the may important thing if the thing they can me reproduce means that thing is called the living thing so uh, non living things cannot uh, non living things can live forever but this living things cannot live forever because they have the life span life span mean from the birth to end of the death in between the gap is called the life span so living thing cannot live forever see they die after completing their life span i told you no life span means life span means after in uh, from the birth and then end of the death in between the gap is there no that uh, that the uh, years that years or days that is called the life span okay then for li- life to go on living thing must reproduce more of their own kind if a living thing means they can reproduce they can reproduce okay reproduce means they can give the the same young one the same thing young one is called the reproduce then the process by which living produ- pro- produces uh, that more of their own kind is called the reproduction we know that no reproduction means they if a living thing means it can give the same thing the young one it is called the reproduction see that the human beings they are having the reproduction so it is the life span it is called the life span life span means for it is the birth the age of the birth and then it is the age of the death so in between the gap is there no this is called the life span it is called the life span then reproduction means even each and every organism can produce the same their own kind for example the hen the hen can produce the chick a hen can produce the cow or a dog anything no 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 so if you think a living thing means they can reproduce their young one the same kind of young one that is reproduction for example cat cat reproduce the kitten the baby uh, the young one of the cat is called kitten we know that no the young one of dog is called puppy like that so each and every organism if a living thing they can reproduce the same kind of young one that is reproduction see different types of reproduction in animals we can say reproduction we can say into two groups what are that one is the giving birth another one is the laying egg we know that no if all the animals they can reproduce using the two methods one is giving birth giving birth means fertilization happen inside of the body after the the, cell, the developed the growth or growth baby will come out directly from the a mother um, inside the mother body okay it is called the giving birth then laying eggs mean fertilization only happen inside of the mother after that they produce the egg the egg is called the embryo embryo means the fertilization the male cell and then female cell join together fuse together make a zygote it is called the embryo embryo means the fertilized zygote is called the embryo so after that they laying the egg after the laying egg they hatch they hatch the that um, that eggs after that only after the some periods only that the small egg will come out a yeah? small young one so it is called the laying egg see we know that no giving birth means we can say 
uh, human beings is the best example we know that no the baby will grow inside of the mother body the fertilization happen and then uh, the uterus and then uh, that uh, small baby can grow inside of the mother and then uh, after the baby after the growth only the baby will come out okay then cat dog cow goat many animals we can give the example they are example for the giving young one next one is the laying egg laying egg means the fertilization only happen inside of the mother then they producing the egg the egg again um, they have they need the incubation they need the period of incubation after the incubation only the this egg will come out a small egg one for example is the hen we know we, we can see this uh, this thing no hen and then many birds insects they are producing like this um, laying egg method okay so reproduction happen in two methods one is giving the the young one the birth okay then second one is the laying egg isn't it then animals give birth to young one we saw the first one you know the animals give young one what are the animals giving the young one no we can say that uh, uh, cow and then uh, horse rabbit cat they are giving the young one what what happened in the giving the young one see animals which give birth to young one and feed them on their own milk it is called it is called mammals what is this it is called the mammals see it is called the mammals see then they are the most developed among all animals their babies are covered with the hair their babies are covered with the hair see giving birth young one means it is a mostly mammals mammals means we are saying um, what does the mammals means they giving the birth directly or developed baby they giving the birth then the body of the the skin of the animals are, are covered with the hair then they feed the milk on their own milk to the food of the baby so these things is are called the mammals are you clear mammals means they can give the young they, they can give the young one directly from the mother body the developed development of the embryo happen inside of the mother body then they given the birth young one then the body of the young one covered with fully hair then they giving the milk on their own milk they giving the food like a baby so this like things is are called the mammals for example we can say the cow we know the cow no the cow the cow giving the milk or to the young baby calf isn't it even the human beings also we can see you no know, mother feeding the milk to the baby you no know? so human beings is the most example for the mammals he is the uh, developed most developed mammals human beings then we can say the horse and then rabbit cat dog sheep so we can say many animals example for their mammals isn't it mammals means the baby cover fully the animals cover the hair of the animal cover fully the hair then they giving their own milk as a food for the young one this is the mammal then other mammals see we, we know very well some animals we, we know that it, these are all the mammals we know some animals but unexpected mammals are there some animals we are thinking it is a bird it is insect but these animals also consider as a mammals what are the other mammals see here first one humans we know that no humans is the mammal now only i told no because human birth, human also giving the young one then our body also covered with the uh, skin and the uh, fur for already we have some uh, small hairs are there then we are giving the milk to the young one so as as that, that is the reason we are considered as a mammals then other mammals one is the bat we know that bat no it is the bat it is the smallest mammal in the world we are thinking bat is a bird we are thinking bat is a bird but actually bat is not a bird it is considered as a mammal why means 
they are they are also reproducing like so giving the young one and then the skin of the animals covered with the hair even they are also giving the young one to feed the young one on their own milk so bat is considered as a mammals isn't it then next one it is the dolphin we know that no dolphin uh, we are thinking dolphin is a fish no but it is not a fish it is also mammal dolphin also mammal why means they also giving the young one they also can feed so man dolphin is a mammal then third one is the blue whale blue whale we know that no it is the biggest largest water mammals in the world is it it bat is a smallest mammal in the world as well as the blue whale is the this is the blue whale this is considered the largest mammal water mammal in the world isn't it see here see the name of the bat is the kitties hog nosed bat it is considered as the smallest bat in the world smallest mammal in the world and then next we can see that no the weight of the mammal is 1 inch long it is the length is the 1 inch and then weight is only 2 grams so that's why it is considered as a smallest mammal in the world and then the blue whale dolphin i told you know we are thinking both are the fish but it is considered as a mammals that is that other mammals we saw that no human being is a mammals and then other mammals we can say bat bat is the smallest mammal in the world then blue whale and dolphin it is the uh, living water animals but they are also mammals is it then care of their young ones the character the special features for the mammals is after laying their baby they care for their future in futures also they are caring they are caring for their lifetime how long they are caring means the mother teaches the baby how to hunt the hunt their own food how they can protect their hair their own self that like the mother teaches to their baby after that only the mother live from the baby from a long way okay so they are giving the care to their babies how the mammals are giving the care no see mammals take care of their babies for a long period of time they are care caring long period of time then she feeds the babies cleans and keep them warm uh, what happen we can observe some animals some animals means uh, cow goat like this animals always they are licking on their uh, babies with their tongue isn't it because they are cleaning the baby because some some insects may be present on the skin of the animal no that's why the mother protected the protected baby they are licking always isn't it then then feeds feeds means we saw that no cow monkey many animals giving the milk on their own milk as a food that baby so they are feeding that baby then they cleans the baby then they giving the warm condition to the baby the example is kangaroo kangaroo is the best example see the kangaroo having the pouch on their stomach they having the pouch on their stomach always that mother keep their baby inside the pouch because the baby need some warm condition that's why the kangaroo always having this baby to their pouch okay then it give the protection for that baby wherever it goes it keep their baby inside the pouch it giving the protection as well as the warm condition to their baby then next one she protects from enemies we know very well no the animals giving the protection from their enemies uh, for example uh, we can see uh, cat can lay the five or six uh, kitten in their in near your house no if you are going to touch the near that kitten means that cat will bite you or it giving the some uh, protection to their babies no so all the animals give the protection all the animals means especially mammals mammals only giving the protection and then caring to their babies then in certain mammals father also helps 
some other animals for example lion tiger that like animals father also giving the protection to their babies then as they grow the mother teaches them to find food to lie on their own i told you no they giving the protection how long means they teaches the mother giving the mother giving the they teaches to their babies how to find out the food like that the mother giving the teaches see we can observe no the monkey giving the uh they teach us they teach how to find out the food how to hunt the, their uh, spray like that they giving the um example then this tiger the tiger hunting some deer but it is not eaten in alone they giving the food to their babies and then uh, the monkeys teach how to climb on the tree and then the duck we can see that no the duck help to how to swim in the water like that where mothers are giving the uh, they are teaching they are giving instruction how to do their own work how they can protect how they can find the food like that they are teaching their babies then human beings also only mammals who look after only their children but their guardian to the animals giving protection only for their babies but human beings only on having the special character some guardians also giving the protection for the, their babies isn't it see then first chapter is over what is the first chapter giving the birth young one that is over we saw other mam mammals is the best example for the giving birth and then other mammals we saw how they giving the protection their babies that like things is are over the second chapter is laying egg second chapter is laying egg see most birds build nest to laying their eggs we know that laying eggs means we can remember only the birds isn't it see so birds is um birds laying their eggs in the because they they can build the nest because they need the protection to lay their eggs that's why they first first of all they build their nest after that only they laying their eggs in the nest then they sit on the egg to keep them warm they keep them warm see they are they always sit on the if they lay the egg means that mother bird sit on there they, they they are not completely sit on the egg they giving the warmer condition the stomach having warm condition now so they giving the warmer condition to that egg because if the uh, egg will hatch mean that egg need to some warm condition to grow the embryo each and every egg having some embryo after the warm condition only that, that is called the incubation that incubation only they can grow like a small bird then only they can give the young one then we know that now some the egg hatch and baby birds come out then the embryo develops only if the egg is warm when the embryo will come out means if the egg is warm condition if the egg get the warm condition then only the small baby come out from the egg otherwise the small baby cannot come out the egg will be destroyed then the chick comes after 21 days see if the egg is there means the egg need 21 days warmer condition after the 21 days only the small chick small baby will come out from the egg in between the gap it cannot do because they need the the embryo can grow the embryo need some time to grow the develop the small whole body so 21 days they need to grow a baby see here the egg of all birds have a similar internal structure this is the structure of um, egg how the egg develop like a chick means see here this is the stage 1 this is the stage 1 it is beginning we know that it is the egg we know that no it is the egg we, we know that it is the cell wall 
cell wall means egg wall then it is the white part we, we have the boiled egg if we get cut it the boiled egg means we can observe this part it is the white part it is called albumin it is called albumin and then inside the yellow part it is called the yolk what is this it is yolk see albumin the white part is called the albumin the yellow part is called the yolk and then outer we can see the outer hard cell no it is a calcium carbonate CaCO3 is it it calcium carbonate it is the hardest part because it gives the protection to inside of the egg things see white part is your uh, albumin yellow part is the yolk in this yellow part we can observe the small dot inside the yellow part no it is called the embryo embryo means one female cell and then one male cell both n join together make a 2n 2n this is called the zygote or the embryo actually it is the fertilized male and female join together make a fertilized 2n it is the embryo isn't it this embryo only can grow after that like the chick how they develop like a chick see this 2n slowly this n slowly observe the yellow part they are having as a food they are taking the food as a yellow part then slowly they can develop we can observe now the small chick is there no first at uh, first they having the small uh, big size of the eye then only they can get the wings legs like that then so the yellow part is enough here no enough here means because they are guarded the yellow part as a food then after boiling the egg the egg we are thinking egg is the shape no after boiling the egg after the peel the egg we can see here small small gap will be there we can observe small gap is there actually it is the hair gap what is that hair space okay hair space because the embryo need the oxygen to grow no so they can get as a this yellow part as a food then they get the oxygen from this hair space then only they can grow even human beings and animals also can grow how means we can uh, we have the uh, small thing no see suppose it is the baby means we have the small uh, thing this thing is called the placenta placenta means it is the link of the baby and mother this link only it is a muscle tissue okay this muscle tissue we can get the water food and then uh, oxygen everything we can get from this uh, placenta the same things they also can get the oxygen from here the space hair space then they get the food from the yellow part after the growing slowly the yellow part will be enough even the this albumin part the white part also will be enough because they get the food after that it grows like here then then after the 21 days it get fully completed that 21 days means the egg will uh, hatch it will break out the small chick will come out from the the see the small chick come out from the egg isn't it this is the different stages of the growing egg like a chick are you clear okay see here structure of egg already I told you the structure of egg see this is the structure of egg this is the structure of egg what is the structure see here we know that no this is the yellow part this is the yellow part yellow part means it is yolk what is this it is yolk okay embryo it is the yolk then the outside we can see here no it is the white part what is the white part white part is a albumin it is a protein albumin is a protein it has the rich content of protein then we can see small like this uh, hatches is here no it is called the salaza salaza means it gives the um, connection it is here i told you know the placenta the same like it gives the connection to the embryo this growing embryo it giving the connection what is the connection means it only give the 
axon it gives the axon to the growing embryo and then it gives the some other uh, base materials also extracted from here only so it is the salsa then it is the hair cell i told you know the egg inside the egg the corner it has the small bubbles will be there it a hair is present here so this is the structure of the egg then we can see there you no know, germinal disk germinal means i told you, you know the two end zygote embryo i told you no know, this is the germinal disk this this germinal disk only can grow like a small chick see then other egg laying animals we saw that you no know, other mammals same like other egg laying animals also there what are the other egg laying animals means amphibians what is that amphibians amphibians means then reptiles then insects they are also considered as a other egg laying animals we saw there the bat and then blue whale like that you no know, same like Uh, egg laying animals also we can consider some other things uh, on uh, apart from the birds amphibians also yeah egg laying amphibians means what is the amphibian example is fish and frog what does mean the amphibians means see you yeah, think they can live on land as well as in water as well as in water so this animals can live in both land and water that animals are considered as a amphibians isn't it example fish frog and then crocodile tortoise we can say many animals like a amphibians isn't it then next one is reptiles reptiles means animal which can move on their bellies belly means stomach with the help of their leg and hand that like animals are called the uh reptiles reptiles means in tamil we can say that no urbana that is the reptiles they can scrawling they can scrawling with their bellies that like animals are reptiles what are the reptiles snake lizard in our house we can see the lizard no lizard snake and then crocodiles these are all example for the reptiles then next one is the insects insects means all the small creatures are called insects what are the insects mosquito butterfly grasshopper and then um, what is the house fly so many insects we can see ladybug these are all insects so all the insects are laying their eggs the same process only happening here is it then life cycle of frog uh, they, uh, we have to see each and every uh, animals uh, life cycle what the first we have to see the example of the amphibian example of the amphibian we know that no amphibian means they can live both in water and land how they reproduce means the life cycle of a frog see here a frog develops into a tadpole see first they laying the egg they laying the egg after that it converted like a embryo embryo means see uh, that uh, um, living the, the egg some other, uh, some animal birds we saw that no embryo will develop inside the mother body but here they laying the egg in the water they having some uh, cluster cluster means many eggs joined together it covered with a jelly coat we can observe no this is the jelly coat this jelly coat keep the egg without dry so after that it converted like a embryo this embryo only develop like a tadpole tadpole means the young one of the frog we are thinking this is a small fish they can swim they didn't have the leg they have only the tail one eye we are thinking it is a small fish but it is not a fish actually it is the young one of the frog this frog is this uh, tadpole is completely change their mother isn't it so this tadpole slowly converted first they have been getting two legs the first they getting two legs after growing sometimes only they can get the four legs after that after some growth they loses their tail uh, they loses their tail they got at the four legs uh, slowly the tail will uh, what is that disappear 
then only they can completely convert on like a adult frog so this is the life cycle of the frog amphibian example for uh, life cycle of amphibian is frog with all that now first they are laying the egg this leg having the cluster then they are uh, fertilized converted like a embryo embryo only converted this tadpole tadpole means young one of the frog the tadpole looking like a fish okay then the tadpole getting the two legs after that they getting the four legs then only uh, the tail will disappear after the sometimes the final stage the fifth stage only they are go growing like a small uh, complete adult stage of the frog this is the life cycle of frog that's all see then egg of fish next one is we have to see the uh, water animal fish we can see here some eggs are here isn't it some eggs are here no we we can see the frog but it is not a frog egg it is actually a fish egg okay see a fish lays a thousands of egg how many eggs they are laying in your at a time in one time a fish can lay thousands of egg how many eggs they can lay thousands of egg why they are laying thousands of egg means they can um, they can manage the condition the weather condition they they can manage them so they are laying thousands of egg Apo uh, from the thousands of egg only 100 only few hundred only uh, can grow into a baby fish then only they can grow a baby fish other eggs will be destroyed how they destroyed mean from the hot weather or uh, they are uh, went into the water or uh, some uh, fishes or uh, some insects may be eaten like a food so many eggs will be destroyed and then so a few hundred or few eggs will be converted like a small fish then many eggs and baby fishes are eaten up by a big fishes even after the uh, growth also the fish will be eaten by the big fishes okay so th that's why they are laying thousands of egg then egg laying reptiles reptiles mean i told you know the um, using the belly to the movement for example snake see snakes and then uh, crocodiles they are laying the egg in the hole hole means uh, because uh, we saw that mammals giving the protection after the laying the baby no but this reptiles never give the protection to the babies if they lay their eggs means the the mother will uh, went out they never come again come back again to the near the baby that's why they are searching a secret place like a hole uh, that uh, caves like that places they selected to lay their eggs okay see here reptiles like lizards and snakes lays their eggs in the ground after laying the eggs some mothers go away and never come back they never come back and they never take care their babies then many eggs are eaten up by other animals also many if they they are laying thousands of eggs means only few eggs can grow a small baby others will be destroyed or other animals will may be eaten then some eggs get the warm condition if the eggs of the eggs they get the warm condition from the heat of the sun they will automatically hatches and then small baby will come out from the egg see insects next the life cycle of insects they given here cockroach see cockroach having the three stages of the life cycle one is the egg starting stage is the egg egg is called the embryo this embryo can convert like a small baby it is the young one of nymph in the cockroach young one of cockroach is called nymph then this cockroach a uh, converter like a adult the nymph didn't have the wings they didn't have the wings after growing only they can get the wings so it is the cockroach see even the cockroach as well as grasshoppers also having the three stages of their life cycle okay 
they are having three stages then the baby insects which come out of the egg is called the nymph we saw that no that is nymph see life cycle of a butterfly life cycle butterfly is having the four stages on their life life cycle see they are butterflies having four stages the young one of the hatch from the egg is called the larva see four stages first they are laying the egg on the mulberry leaves because the mulberry leaves only the food of the larva so the this egg hatches like a larva larva means the young one the larva the young one of the uh, this butterfly is called the caterpillar caterpillar means it is like a worm it is look like a worm okay then this worm what will happen means this caterpillar make a the stage is called the pupa or cocoon also we can say cocoon means what does that mean uh, this caterpillar living uh, they having the um, what is that uh, saliva in their mouth mo this saliva after that kind of like a thread it's look like a cotton we have the cotton no cotton plant from we get the cotton no the same thing will be happen they this um, this caterpillar fully covered with this cotton this is called the pupa stage this pupa is inside the pupa only the caterpillar growth after that only they can get the like this wings like a so but a beautiful butterfly can grow come out from this pupa stage suppose Uh, they stopped this pupa stage means here only we can get the silk cloth they are making some uh, outer coat on their bed now how the birds build their nest to protect themselves they are same like they also making the nest on their own body it is called the pupa stage this pupa stage only uses us for to make the silk cloth See here, the caterpillar will sleep the growth of rapidly. Then, after some time, it stop eating and forms covering around itself called the pupa stage. I told you, you know, after eating, they stop. They pro giving the uh, covering. They are covering the white coat. After that, only they can grow like a small. This pupa burst. The pupa we saw there. No, this is the pupa. This pupa burst out. The butterfly, a small butterfly, can come out from the this pupa. after that adult insect do not look after their babies the adult butterfly because the caterpillar is looking like a worm isn't it after that growth only they can get they can they are converted into a insect like a butterfly see we saw the many young ones isn't it just see here the young one of the frog see the young one of the frog we saw that no it is called tadpole the young one of frog is called tadpole and then the young one of the insect the baby insect called the what is that the cockroach the baby cockroach is called nymph then the larva of butterfly is called the caterpillar then larva of house fly house fly means uh, in our house we can see some uh, small insects no that is called the house fly it is macot what is that young one of uh, frog is called tadpole young one of uh, cockroach is called the nymph and then butterfly young one is caterpillar and then house fly larva is called macot that's all children the lesson is over i think you are all understood the lesson thank you children